least because of Hurricane Katrina. Barnes with the corner three, breaks the seal. Matt Barnes now his 15th game. Barnes hits another three, so back-to-back -back triples are very feisty. They'll play the pick and roll strong. They'll force you to take the long jump shot. It's on this Thunder team, but does such a good job protecting the rim inside Durant the mission. Here's well, Griffin he... lobbing to Jordan. There it is Ryan again. again. See, you can talk all you want now. See, they're, they're right out on the fast break. They have seven points on the break. They have a couple of blocks. They're key, and you have to be careful because he'll attack the rim, and he gets to the foul line. Jordan in close. That's where he does most of his damage. Not forget about because he's an excellent three-point shooter. Chris Paul takes and makes his first shot. The spacing, and when they screen on one side of the floor, their spacing is excellent away from the ball. Crawford, Ooh. the scouting report. You have to know the scouting report to stay with it. Look, how about this quick? Collison, no call. Back the other way. Barnes a three. Struggled to start the homecoming for Blake Griffin here in Oklahoma, but it has not been a struggle this year. A little context and perspective on Griffin's successful entree in the NBA his first four seasons. 20 points and 10 rebounds a game. Doesn't sound like much until you look at who's done it. Just look at four years in a row of doing it. Bird, Akeem, Barkley, Malone, the Admiral, Shaq, Zoe, Duncan. And from then, four years in a row, Blake Griffin's the only one in that stretch. Doc Rivers talked about what he's learned about Blake now that he's coaching him for the first time. Where I was impressed with him most this summer was in any, you know, he had to have a commercial set up. Well, they're waiting. You can see them off to the side until he finishes his complete workout. I mean, um, I think a lot of these guys who start getting stuff, they start planning their basketball around their other stuff. And I was really impressed with Blake. He's the exact opposite. Uh, I'll do that stuff for my basketball first. I mean, he has his priorities in order. Griffin's become a much more complete player, adding to his game and his shooting. Paul has thumb hit as he knocked down that shot. His second field goal is opening court. They were talking about why are they in this game so far? They have 14 fast break points. Which is so rare for somebody who's almost seven feet. Yeah, but how about Westbrook dropping it back to yeah. him to give him the one-on-one? A nice return back by Griffin. Is and he hasn't missed the roll guy yet. The ball is right on the money. No intentional foul that time on Jordan and Griffin. They ran out isolation. Then they ran a back screen for Durant. Oh! oh. Jordan from Paul. Clock at five as Durant shoots over Bob. No, that was a tough. That was a tough shot. I don't think he really had a good grip of the ball. Paul, you can see his head up so good at that. Crawford. Great quarter for Crawford. Knocks down the three. Two steps that you're allowed. He covers so much ground. And that's where the body contact comes. You gotta make a decision. Do you foul him or do you let him go? The double team. Oh, there it is again. There, how many times now? It just it hit ahead. Get it and go. It's like the old, old, old days of the Celtics. One of the great things with the Celtics in the 60s, ball came out of the net, down the floor the other way. We go. That's right. It's the second pass. The first. Clippers going for a 70-point half here. There's that, there's that post up again. Force the double team. Barnes. Yep. A three, and the basket will count, and the foul. And Westbrook, I don't know, he'll be Griffin goes inside. Adams got a piece of it, but Griffin, Westbrook, as he blends his minutes in, he's not coming back to a 40-minute load early on. He, he's looking to help out and fit right back in. Barnes from the outside hits his sixth three. So Matt Barnes, who has a career-high seven made threes in the game back in 2007, one away from that mark. And Sacramento Kings, part of the 18 tour that Matt Barnes has done in his 11-year NBA career. Crawford splashes a three, 15 points in the second quarter. And now Crawford, no LeBron James out with the broken nose that happened here on Thursday night against the Thunder. Excellent defense. Three on two. Crawford challenged by Durant. Scores. Well, they're getting pretty good looks, Mike. They're getting pretty good looks. Unfortunately, the ball's not going. Oh, oh. from deep. Griffin, a three. And Brooks will take a timeout. Blake Griffin, it's his 11th three-pointer of the season. Bullock shoots over it and missed it. Jordan keeps it alive. League's leading rebounder has eight. Freddie Paul inside school. Durant with the primary coverage. All over Griffin. Finds the cutting Barnes. Gets the layup to go. So Matt Barnes has had a very big game. Knocking down the 
six three-pointers that he's made. Has played with five fouls. Griffin, body by Durant. Trap. Paul, a three. Chris Paul knocks down the three-pointer. Got five today. Jackson tipped it. Griffin able to catch. Can't finish. I tell you, he's battling. He kept that alive himself, Mike. He made, made that awful attempt. But then as soon as the miss came, he was he hit the floor and was right back up again. Just watch this. 88% foul shooter. Had made all 10 today. Yeah. Made two. Wow. Missed two. Missed two. Clippers by one. Drop for oh. three. Begging for the four-point play. Timeout, Scott Brooks. Crawford hit the three. He has 34. And Soft shot and a high percentage make. Did have 14 losses, Indiana with 13. Russell Westbrook returned, and I think people will look at that and say, well, Westbrook's back, they're not clicking, they've lost back-to-back. -back. Limited minutes like he has been in these games that he has come back. And that will do it. The Los Angeles Clippers come into Oklahoma City. They put up 72 in the first half and win 125 to 117. These two teams will meet one more time. That'll be on a Wednesday in Los Angeles, the second to last week of the season on April 9th. Thunder back-to-back -back losses at home, second time this year. Cleveland will be in here on Wednesday.